Man, I'm just at a loss for words. In case you guys weren't aware, Joshua Schmidt and his team managed to win the very first Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel World Championships. And Pauli Aronson is the very first American in the history to ever win the Worlds. This is beyond legendary, especially when we're considering every single other aspect of the tournament. And the guy's such a legend, he actually managed to squeeze in the top cut of Worlds with a 4-3 record. To think that my homie, who was in my team in YCS Mexico, managed to win Worlds is unthinkable. Pauli, I'm just incredibly proud for you this is just incredible Polly just is the biggest inspiration that i can think of because the guy is so humble so nice he's so good at the game he's got it all absolutely well deserved my friend and honestly i really hope that we can all use this as a driving force to step up our game and of course massive congratulations to everyone else who managed to top as well as everyone else who actually made it to worlds as I've said yesterday, most people got their invite to Worlds playing Kashtira, so them being forced to change decks was a true test of skill. And again, to think that the top cut was dominated by 8 TCG players is unreal. This makes me want to believe that we truly are in the golden age of Yu-Gi-Oh! because honestly we just have so many good players here. Regardless of where you live, you'll always have a god among you. In Canada, we have Jesse Cotton, Ryan Yu, Steven Santoli, and so many other good players. In the US, I don't even know where to begin because there's just way too many good players regardless of where you are. And honestly, Europe is really stacked too, especially Germany and France. And I keep getting impressed by how amazing Latin American players are. I feel like a lot of players have prejudice against players from other countries because they usually they don't really know them too well. But you know, traveling around really changes your outlook on things. I mean, I've seen it with my own eyes, you know, Mexico, Brazil, and Panama really have incredible players. And honestly, even Australia is low-key solid. So Bodan was always the most popular one, and obviously he's the GOAT, but Pojang has actually been on fire since his win from YCS Hartford. And obviously there's some other great players too. We're even getting to a point where even the YouTubers are pretty good. And conversely, a lot of pro players are starting YouTube channels. Now, because of the wide array and also high quality resources that people are having access to, it's getting a lot easier to become better at the game. You know, people say that Yu-Gi-Oh! is a really complicated game, and they're right. But with the right tools and the right sensei, you can always make it work. Just look at Pauly, he bubbled events for years straight before he finally started popping off. You know what your goal should be? To be the next Pauly. If Yu-Gi-Oh! is a game you truly love, then show it. Invest your all into it, travel around the world, play some YCSs, play test online in real life, theory inside out, grind those locals, those regionals, those remote duels. If this world championship proved anything, it's one thing. That anyone has the power to accomplish anything that they desire, and honestly, the only thing stopping us is ourselves. I mean, the OCG stood no chance against us, and they were the best for the longest time. I'm gonna have to repeat myself, but again, this is really the golden age for Yu-Gi-Oh, and what a time to be alive. I'm extremely excited to see what's next, and honestly, I just can't wait to start grinding events again. I really do believe that Yu-Gi-Oh is going into a really good direction, and I really don't think that this is the end, but rather the beginning of something great.